hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, man. Uh, I just wanted y'all to see this layout so y'all can kind of go where I'm going, going with this Michael Jordan being the GOAT, you know, all this stuff about him being the greatest that ever played the game. Now, this is my personal opinion. This is my personal opinion. But before I get to my personal opinion, I want to thank everybody, you know, who contributed to that video. You know, everybody in the comment section, you know, you know, everybody, man, because that was a cool video. You know, I wanted to get y'all's opinion on it. You know, I heard everybody get a opinion, great opinions, great analysis, great yay or nay. Why Jordan was the, uh, you know, the greatest player of all time. How about for this? From now on, how about let's just say Michael Jordan is arguably the greatest player of all time because he is. It's not fact. And I'm sorry. I di I disagree with people saying that Michael Jordan was flat out the greatest basketball player ever. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I just can't roll with that. In my opinion, like I say, I say this once again, in my opinion, the greatest basketball player I ever saw was Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Now, I know a lot of you subs are in that 25 to 30 range. I'm sorry. Go look at footage of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. That sky hook was the most lethal shot I ever saw. Nobody couldn't defend Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. They changed rules in college because of him. You wasn't allowed to dunk for a few years because of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. He won in college, won in the NBA. The dude was an all-around winner. You know, he won multiple, if I'm not mistaken, he won at least two national championships. You know, maybe even three. So he won in college. He won in the NBA, man. Now, he got blackballed a little bit out of the NBA because he did try to get coaching jobs, but, you know, he got into it with the press a lot. He wasn't what you call a media-friendly guy. So, you know, Kareem paid the price for basically, you know, not being what you call media savvy. As far as Michael Jordan go, Michael Jordan was one of the best. He was one of the best. And I'm not taking that away from him. His numbers say he is one of the best, but his numbers also say he's not the best ever. And we can holler about he never lost the finals. Well, he went to the playoffs a lot and used to get knocked out of the playoffs in the uh, second or conference final. So he got knocked out of the playoff a lot. He lost. Not to mention, now Tito Garcia brought this up. Very interesting statistics. Did you guys know he never had a winning season until Scottie Pippen got there? So he wasn't just doing it by himself. He get he get all the credit, but which he shouldn't get. But he didn't have a winning season until Scottie Pippen got there. This is fact. And like I said, this isn't a fuck Michael Jordan, you know, pissing on Michael Jordan. I'm coming with coming with facts. I'm not a Michael Jordan fan. I used to like the guy. I used to roll with Michael Jordan. I thought he was phenomenal. Like I said, I went out and bought this stuff. This jersey is like, this jersey is pretty fucking old. I bought this jersey like maybe, like maybe 10 years ago. Maybe longer than that. I got to give myself credit. It's in tip-top condition. So, you know, I may sell it or give it give it to somebody. But like I said, this this what, this what you see right here was how Michael Jordan came about. He was good at this shit. Marketing. You know, selling these kicks. That was part of the mystique. You know, he had Nike backing him up, a company that he single-handedly saved from going belly up so of course you know they promoted them as being the greatest ever because you started hearing you know they and and they put that shit in your heads the the gatorade commercials the the, the haynes you know i want to be like mike and all that kind of stuff you know that put they put that in people's heads keep in mind they wasn't no youtube back then you didn't have guys that can dispute this stuff it was so and then you had the media backing them up too a lot of this was about marketing in the media and um back in back in Michael Jordan up and not to mention David Stern forever kissing his ass that's where a lot of this came about you know I'm I'm not trying to shit on the man but I'm just calling it the way I see it 
that's how a lot of this came about. He was, uh, I mean, he took marketing and selling products to the next level as far as the, the, the as far as the NBA go. And yes, he, 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 he cultivated it. He, he elevated it. He, he made it the global entity that it is now. Yes, he did do that, but he had help from a lot of sponsors like Nike, Gatorade, you know, et cetera, et cetera. You know, if you got companies that's backing you up saying, oh, yeah, he's the greatest. He's the greatest. He's the greatest ever. He's the greatest ever. He's the greatest ever. Yeah, because they say it. Of course, you're going to start to fall into it. I almost fell into that. But then I started remembering some of the great players that I saw. And I started remembering shit. And I was like, okay, yeah, yeah. The man was exceptionally good. But as far as him being just the all-time greatest he better than everybody that laced him up. That's that's just not true. And I'm not buying that. I heard everybody's argument about why they thought he was the greatest. And I can counter all that, but there's no need to do that. What I'm saying is about Michael Jordan, to me, he just had a lot of people pushing that narrative. You know, he had the media backing him up. He had all these, these Fortune 1000 companies backing him up. So that's what a lot of this came from. That's where a lot of this came from. But if you look at his statistics, you know, his overall statistics, I'm sorry, he's not the best ever, but he's one of the best. I mean, he should be in anybody's top 10, That anybody's top 10, top five. That, that's fair enough. I can roll with that. But anyway, man, I just wanted to give a final thoughts. You know, I'm no need to go on. I didn't say what I need to say about Michael Jordan. So, you know, like I said, man, it, you know, if anybody want to ask something, no, you know, that's fine with me. So that's that's the conclusion to Michael Jordan. I'm out.